Hi guys, Dow King back here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Motec. I'm going to be doing like a three or four videos on Motec. I get asked all the time how how do I use Motec, damping in, you know, how do I work out my rake, my ride height, you know, just everything that's involved with it. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I use Motec, and and let's get one thing straight. I am not the cleverest guy when it comes to Motec. I don't know everything about Motec. I've learned my best. I've learned as best as I can, but I'm going to show you how I use it and how I think it how to get the best out of it. Okay, but this is just my interpretation. First video just going to be about how to set up Motec. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, you're going to go type in Motec i2, click on this Motec i2 data, and we're just going to download i2 Pro, the latest one, 64 bit for your for your Windows. You know, once you've downloaded that. It's going to then take you, you're going to have the shortcut on, on your home screen. Okay. I want you to click on that. And it, you're not going to have this here. This is my workbook, which is going to be in the description below. Okay. So what we're going to do, how do you get that workbook into, into, a, into Motec? Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. You're going to open your files. Right here. Okay. Okay. You're going to see the workbook, which is here, which is going to be a zip folder. Okay. You're going to copy that. Go to your documents, Motec, I2, workspaces, and then you're going to paste the workbook into here. And then you're going to click on it and you're going to extract, extract here through the workbook. Okay. And then it's going to come up as a folder. Once you've done that, okay, then just, just close Motec down. And then reopen it and the workbook will be there for you to use okay then back to motec and then you're going to open up motec okay and now you have my workbook with all my all my tools that i use okay and i'm going to go through each sort of one in this in this little mini series which is going to allow you to, to hopefully hopefully get them better setups hopefully understand motec and and, and hopefully these videos help you out Okay, first things first. Let's let's just set up the the basics. What I want you to do, I want you to go to the suspension histogram. I think I have. Do I have any files? Yes, we do. Okay, I want you to right click properties, and then the values. Just in case they've changed, I want you to put two hundred and five, and this will this will give you a better a better value reading. Basically, this is what I use. To, uh, to create my dampen as you can see a little bit off last night for the for the gt4 race okay so that's we are going to come to dampening in in, the, in another episode but this is just just the basics i want you to set up okay over to general mm -mm, sorry sorry there it is now on our generals page this this is the main tool that i use in Motec. okay but to understand where i'm losing lap time and just to just to figure out, okay, maybe I'm my, my trail braking is not great there, and I'm getting on throttle. So what we can do, this here, if you see this here on the left, this is all your laps. And then say if I wanted to compare a lap, I can go like this, like that, and then you can compare three laps, four laps if you wanted to. Okay, so say that, so you can see my fastest lap here, two thirteen four, and then okay, why did I why did I make a mistake there? Okay, and you can see here. On my fastest lap, which is the dark blue line, we can see we had better corner speed actually into turn one, which just uh, just allowed us, you know, to 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 carry that speed through the corner and back out. And then uh, we had a better run out of this corner, carried a little bit more speed in as well. You can just see here, just uh, just overall. But I'm going to explain this in more detail as well as we go through the uh, the general the general gist of of Motec. I'm a steering angle, brake, throttle input. You usually don't really need to see. You, you can see here that I was uh you actually see I was upshifting a little bit later, so I was actually revving the car a little bit more there. And then I was upshifting too early on the slower lap, as you can see. But this is one of the most powerful bits of Botech for me. You know, it really is. Unfortunately, I don't have the corner numbers there. Normally I have the turns in inside of the corners but that's that's basically how you 
detail so just choose like you can you can do through as many laps but just try to compare one or two laps just to understand where you were going going wrong you can see my steering input as well down here little bit pretty smooth here you can see big snap of the wheel there as well but to, like i have a very in-depth video where me and scott mansell which is going to be in the description if you really want to get him like i don't want to go over too much now because there's another video already on this i'm going to put that that link in the description as well so you guys can understand how to read this data okay and i'm just going to talk through i just really want to talk through all the tabs quickly of what i use um in acc and then the next one will be dampening and then we're gonna i'm gonna explain how i work out my ride that to explain if you use too much rake roll angle uh tire pressures because i feel like the best way to get tire pressures in acc is is through motec so we've done our generals tab g forces i never really use traction circle I, I never really use either i never really use any of these tabs uh suspension obviously my suspension histogram i use a lot my rake my rake track i use a lot as well this one i'll explain to you how to work out so basically negative 10 is when basically the car is flat or just the rear is a bit lower than the front and you're you're you have no drag basically you know you can see here the car is perfect that's the sort of thing you want to see to get maximum speed if if i was going down the straight here and it was blue like that that means the rake is the rear's up and we're actually too slow we're running too much wing as well okay guys fires pressures now what we can do what you can do see this top bar you can click do let me no down on there there we go so what i could do you click that top bar and then just drag the corner through like i did and now this is going to give us the average over them five laps okay so you can see our lowest pressure it's probably where we come out of the pit was the 26.9 probably our starting pressures and then the highest they went to 27.4 now remember this is for a gt4 they're a little bit higher okay but then this right tab is our average and this is how i try to set my tire pressures now in acc because i feel like tire pressures are one of the most crucial points on setups right now i feel like if you if them tire pressures are out of range the, 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 it doesn't matter if you have the best setup the car just feels undrivable but this is how i set my tire pressures up and as you know for, for gt3s i'm always a, a, you're always aiming for that 27 7 27 6. i found as well with the mid to rear engine cars always try to have the rear pressures a little bit higher than the front so like the mclaren porsche ferrari you always run them rears 27 8 the front's 27 7 27 6. it just seems to help help the car not to push the fronts too much uh, and vice versa with the uh, front engine cars okay so yeah uh gt4s you're looking for maximum 27 twos on average 27 o's as you can see our rears are a little bit too high just a little bit in the front the front left there was uh front left was just a little bit too high there but it was just a fun race last night so yeah what we're that's what we were sort of looking for okay bump stop rate <laughs> sorry so there's no bump stop rate on uh this car we don't have that let me open the file monza what was we running in the monza oh the amg there we go as you can see i don't i like like i said this graph is not um is not perfect like my motec is not perfect i set it up as best i can with most of the track it's a lot of work though <clears throat> and as you know being super busy is super hard to get okay so bump stop rate okay you can see the left front right front bump stop rate when when that hits the top there you can see that's you hitting the bump stop rate and as you can see on the rear we're not hitting the bump stop at all that probably means the car's bottoming out so you can lower that rear bump stop rate okay and that's that's basically what that means i think here we actually hit we hit yeah you can see there we actually hit the rears the rear bump stop rate there you can actually hit twice and that's as this is we're going through a scurry. So that's probably meaning we're hitting too much, using too much curb. Or maybe the suspension. Maybe the bump stop range, sorry, the bump stop range needs to come up. You know, it needs to come down, sorry. When it's not really touching that all. So it just means the underbelly's hitting, 
hitting the floor before you hit. So what the bump stop range does, it allows, so the higher on the rear, it will allow the rear to squat and it will give you a little bit more like rotation. But what it means, the rear, that means the belly of the car, like the floor pan can hit the floor before it. So you try to set that bump stop range and the stiffness of so the bump stop range, the, the middle one, that helps you hit that bump stop, so the rubber mount before the, the bottom of the car hits the floor and get, does like an aero stall. And that's why you mainly lose the car over the bumps. It's probably because this range is too high. Car hits the floor, you spin around. So yeah, we're going to go through this as well. Okay. Row angle, you see here, that is maximum row angle, especially there. Let's see what we are for a Scari. So you can see there, look at that. So that, that's telling me right there, when that's maxed out like that, like 7.3, that's very high. That's telling me that the car has too much roll. So I either need to stiffen the ARBs, okay? Or need to stiffen the spring. You don't want too much roll in the car like that. That is maximum right there. Like 7.3 is 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 absolutely on the limit um so on average 1.23 yeah so just try to be careful with this as well this is a good way of telling like at peak level especially for ascari we can see there that the car especially on the exit right there a max point you know was the, the car is definitely when it hits that like 1.0 mark you can tell you're going to lose the car because the car is just rolling too much in the corner. So we definitely need to stiffen the car up probably spring, spring wise just to stop that a little bit. Okay. So that's a recap then. This is just a basic setup. Get everything. Just so you understand, just get everything in general going. And then I'm going to be going through all the tabs. Okay. So general, we have speed. And if you want to add, uh, well, you can put your track up there, by the way. If you want to add a channel, over to the left, hit the channels tab. So you can see steering angle. You can click here and you can add that. Okay, we already have it here, as you can see. I can... Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the master. Uh, I'm good. Uh, remove channel so now we've got rid of that okay now we want to add steer angle and then that's how you add the steering angle throughout the lap okay and also when you do this you can so now you, why is that doing that i'm out laps i can't keep track up uh click the dock window that's here and now we can see at what point of the track okay and this is a great way great way to analyze your lap and i have most of the tracks done and most of this is already done for you you know and i hopefully hopefully this helps but like i said this is just a general guide right now how to set it up how to understand how to add and get rid of channels quickly and just so you have a basic understanding and throughout these next month we're going to be going through every single tab and i'm going to try to explain it the best way that i can do you know what i mean and just a quick one before we go i know you guys are dying i always get the dampening questions okay suspension suspension histogram minimum do five laps okay do five laps click click the five lap tab and then drag it across like that. And then this will give you an average over five laps. Please do five laps. You can see here, pretty good. Well, actually, not really good. Not good at all. We see we need to work on uh, the Monza AMG setup. We need to uh, get that right. But I'm going to be explaining how to get rid of this like oscillation, like this, this peak here, and how to bring that across uh, in, in, in future videos. But this was just a basic setup video explaining a few of the tabs and what, I use, what I'm using and what I'm not using. Hopefully this helps, guys. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And like I said, we have got I've got a few more videos to come. We're going to be explaining most of the, 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 the going in depth with the tabs and helping you understand how to get the most out of MoTeC. Hope this video helped, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.